You guys are responding well to weird stuff in Left 4 Dead, and I wanted to make another video for shits and giggles. None of this is serious, mind you, and it's just a comment on how the mechanics and logistics are in the game. All in pure fun, mates. Before we start the video, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitch for updates and random streams that go live of games like Friday the 13th, Overwatch, and other games Zach S feels like playing off the grid. And subscribe to Cake Slayer, who posts all the damn time. He's playing Halo, he's playing uh, other games, he, he's just posting. He, he's been playing Injustice a bunch. I don't like Injustice. I think it's shit, but he likes the game, so get on him. Subscribe to him if you're into that. And while you're at it, if you're subbed to me already, hit the bell near the subscribe button so you're guaranteed to see my videos as soon as they release. Now, let's get to yet another top five weird things in Left 4 Dead in no particular order. Number one, the durability of the survivors. Now, your group of four living individuals are pretty damn strong and resilient. So strong, in fact, that a gunshot to the head doesn't even kill them. You can swing a sharpened katana across Ellis's chest and he will still be quite fine as he rambles on about his man crush. I ever tell you about the time my buddy Keith got rolled by a gator in a swamp? Man, he didn't agonize it or nothing. We were just trying to grab two so we could piss him off and get him into a fight. Well, anyway, the third time Keith went under, I realized something was wrong, so I- We ain't got time for this, Ellis. Okay. Yet you turn around and can slice through ten infected at once as if you were a samurai? Now some make the argument that the infected are rotting and less able to take damage, but I don't know any living person that can take a swing from a fire axe and still walk away from it. And don't get me started on the grenade launcher, a weapon that can literally blow infected into six separate pieces in every direction, but it, all it does is just mildly annoy a survivor and have them politely ask, can you stop shooting me? Yes, friendly fire damage increases with difficulty, but still, I can unload a shotgun shell in your chest in the game and still you'll be standing. Theory, the survivors are demigods! Number two, the Left 4 Dead 1 survivors and their bridge, safe spot on the passing. Now, Bill sacrificed a lot for the original cast of survivors. Getting the generator started back up so the bridge could be lifted and raise the other three to safety, while an onslaught of three tanks pummeled him to oblivion. But if Left 4 Dead verses and hours of gameplay have taught us, how the hell can a slightly ascended bridge stop the infected from climbing up and furthermore infected like the hunter from jumping up there and the smoker from pulling one off? Sure, they could shoot infected uh, when they get closer, but they'll have a limited supply of ammo. In the comics, we see the three ride right off into the sunset, Dawn of the Dead style, but realistically, Lewis needed time to heal from the witch slash to the leg, and time would not be on their side as sitting ducks on the bridge. Just doesn't make a lot of sense to me in that sense. Number three, gas cans filling a boat versus filling a race car? So the gas cans in Left 4 Dead can carry what? Two to three gallons, maybe even five? So riddle me this, why in the hell does it take 13 gas cans to fill up a race car? I know they have some horrible mileage considering they're only used for racing, but shit man, that tiny ass car being able to take 13 gas cans compared to the boat in Hard Rain that only needed four cans of the same size? Either the boats in the Left 4 Dead universe are super fuel efficient, or the race cars have gas tanks that take up a majority of the car's body. Either way, getting cans in any way, shape, or form is mind-numbing and tedious, hence why scavenge boats sucks dick, and we should get rid of it in Left 4 Dead 3, which is coming out on February 29th of 2018, mind you. Number 4, Safe Rooms and Their Survivors. Prior to the survivors getting to their frequent safe room pit stops, one has to wonder who wrote all the graffiti and wall text on the surface of the wall's interiors. Random bits of zombie kill counts, talking about their current situation, political jargon, and more. But what happened to these people that were hiding away trying to wait out the zombie apocalypse? It's only been two weeks since the first initial infection in Left 4 Dead 1, and three weeks as well. So, you gotta wonder what's going on through these people's minds that this kind of insanity is pursuing. But you also have to wonder another thing, and for that matter, how did these people leave the safe room with the doors barred and the doors locked? One will never know. And last but not least, the smoker's limitless trail of organs. Now, all the special infected have certain quirks that make us think, how does an infection make you do that? 
like the boomer making it pop and vomit everywhere or the charger getting a giant arm but honestly let's think about the smoker you ever hear that scientific factoid saying if you stretch out all of your body parts around the world it would reach around over one and a half times well first off i call bullshit on that notion it sounds like bullshit and second off i guess the smoker is a testament to that very notion it's strange how this festering tower of tumors can shoot out yards upon yards of his I don't know human anatomy, anatomy well, but I guess his esophagus or small, large intestine on unsuspected people. But to do it indefinitely makes one think he is just a walking organ factory. If so, and the zombies take over the world, and in the future society is dictated by the new infected, some one of the infected should make it a law that all smokers should be organ donors. And we need to get the zombie version of Sarah McLaughlin to make commercials asking smokers to donate to needy infected. I think that would make for a great commercial. Now that's it for now, but there's more weird shit that I didn't cover and probably will make another video of soon. But I really need to revisit my glitches and shortcut series and maybe make the 8 most loved survivors list or actors that would be good for a Left 4 Dead 2 movie. What video should I do next? I need some suggestions. Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And I also stream Left 4 Dead 2 on Fridays and Saturdays if you're interested and if, if my schedule permits. And don't forget to hit that bell by the subscribe button. I'm Zach Ass on Wow Such Gaming. Stay wow! And go ahead and hit one of the videos down below. I got some good shit for you to watch. And don't forget to subscribe to Cake Slayer and subscribe to me. That is one big pile of shit.